Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. Today's Mass is offered for the following intentions. Let us together as a family pray. For the soul of Terence Pereira, offered by Charlotte and Trisha Pereira. Thanksgiving Mass and birthday blessing to Robinson, offered by Vinubai Kapadia. Thanksgiving and birthday blessing and good health to Winnie Lobo offered by Wilbur and Jyoti Lobo. For the soul of Kalpesh Rajput, offered by Louisa Rajput and children. Thanksgiving Mass, offered by Mary de Cruz. For the soul of George Kashmiro, offered by Mabel Kashmiro. Thanksgiving Mass, offered by Deepak Smith. And Month's Mind Mass, for the soul of Vincent Fernandez, offered by Paulin, Fernandez, and family. The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, very often we have heard, if God is with us, who can be against us? Yes, God is not partial. God is with every one of us. And all those who believe in that, all those who accept it reap fruit of life joyfully and happily. So, my dear brothers and sisters, keeping that in mind, let us offer this Mass with all our intentions, acknowledging our sinfulness, the wrongs that we have done against God, against one another, so that we may accept our mistake and renew and purify ourselves so that we may reap fruit in abundance. For our many faults and failures, let us ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Acknowledging our sinfulness, let us say together, I, I confess, confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, 
through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of the kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent messenger to Hezekiel, saying, Tell this to Hezekiel, king of Judah. Do not let your God, on whom you are relying, deceive you, when he says, Jerusalem shall not fall into the power of the king of Assyria. You have learned by now what the king of Assyria have done to every country, putting them all under the ban. Are you likely to be spared? Hezekiel took the letter from the hands of messenger and read it. He then went up to the temple of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Hezekiah said this prayer in the presence of the Lord. Lord of hosts, God of Israel, Enthroned on cherubs, you alone are God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Give ear, Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, who has sent to insult the living God. It is true, Lord, that the king of Assyria have exterminated all the nations. They have thrown their gods on the fire, for these were not gods, but the work of man's hand, wood and stone, and hence they have destroyed them. But now, Lord our God, save us from the hands, and I pray to you, and let all the kingdoms of the earth know that you alone are God, our Lord. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, Send to Hezekiah, the Lord, the God of Israel. He said, says this, I have heard the prayer you have addressed to me at the Sennacherim king of Assyria. Here is the oracle that the Lord has pronounced against him. She despises you, she scorns you, the virgin daughter of Zion. She tosses her head behind you the daughter of Jerusalem. A remnant shall go out with Je from Jerusalem and survivors from Mount Zion. The jealous love of the Lord of hosts shall accomplish this. This then is what the Lord says about the king of Assyria. He shall not enter this city. He will let fly no arrow against it. Confront it with no shield throw up on earthwork against it. By the road that he came, on he he will return. He shall not enter this city. It is the Lord who speaks. I will protect this city and save it for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. The same night the angel of the Lord went out and struck down the 185,000 man in the Assyrian camp. Sennacherib struck camp and left. He returned home 
and stayed in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Your response, God upholds the city forever. God upholds the city forever. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised. In the city of our God, his holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Your response, God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God is in the midst of scattered He has shown himself its stronghold. Your response, God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your response, God upholds his city forever. Gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. Lord, bless my heart and my lips that I may proclaim your gospel worthily. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls in front of pigs, or they may trample them and then turn on you and tear you to pieces. So always treat others as you would like them to treat you. That is the meaning of the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate. Since the road that leads to prediction is wide and spacious, and many take it, for it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life, and only a few find it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, a mother and a baby camel were lying around and the baby camel suddenly woke up and said, Mother, can I ask you a few questions? So the mother camel said, Surely. Why, my son, is there anything bothering you? So the son said, Mother, why do camels have humps? So the mother said, My son, we are desert camels. We need humps to store water. And we are known to survive in the desert without water. Well, the son said, the next question, why is our legs long and our feet rounded? So the mother said, well, my son, it is for walking in the desert. And with these long legs and rounded feet, we are able to walk faster than anyone else. The third question asked the baby camel, 
Why are my eyelashes so long? It bothers me. So the mother camel said, Our eyelashes are thick and long because it protects us. It's a protective cover. It protects us from the desert, sand and wind. So the baby camel said, Well, a hump is to store water in the desert. Our legs are to walk in the desert sand. Our eyelashes is to protect us from the desert sand. So why, in God's name, what are we doing here in the zoo? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we are desert animals. What are we doing here in the zoo? Skills, knowledge, abilities and experiences are used or is useful when we are at the right place. Today's Gospel reading, my dear brothers and sisters, invites us to take the narrow way which leads us to life. The narrow way leads us to life. The broad way, the wide way leads us to death, leads us to doom, leads us to ruin. And God is inviting us today, my dear brothers and sisters, with your skills, with your knowledge, with your ability, with your experience, why take the wide road? And as I said in the beginning, if God is with us, who can be against us? The narrow way demands discipline. What sort of a discipline? Now and again we are told, prayer, fasting and good works. Whereas the broad way demands no discipline, but yet finally it leads us to doom. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we offer this Mass, let us follow the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pick up our cross and follow Him. A cross of suffering, a cross of failure, a cross of sickness. And it is our Lord who will shoulder it and renew it and transform it into a new and everlasting joyous and happy living. Of a tree. Blessed are you, o Lord God of all goodness. We have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, our sacrifice, mine and yours, may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the for praise the and, and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good and good of all his church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we may make offering of our heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. O Son, Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. O Son, in the, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroy our death. Rising, Rising you restore our, our life. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come, come in, in glory. glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Garfi, our Bishop, Apostolic and State of the Diocese, Archbishop Stanislaus, and all the clergy. Remember also your servant, Vincent Fernandez, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy and for whom we offer this Mass today. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed Apostle and all the saints who are pleased with all the ages, 
we may matter to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Summing up all our prayers and petition, now let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as your way, the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God take away the sins of the world, world. Grant, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Faith in your mercy and drink your blood. Let the Lord be in condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we call to this banquet. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter my, my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
The eyes of all look to you, Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your people will praise and thank you, God, for we go.